Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with the review for you of the HTC Hero for Sprint. We first took a look at the HTC Hero a few months back when it had a monster chin and was a European release only. Since then, it's been slimmed down, de-chinned, and ready for release to US carriers. So this is the Sprint version, like I mentioned, and before I get to the review, I wanna talk about call quality as I do in all of my phone reviews. It's a phone, first and foremost, besides everything else, and if it doesn't sound good and doesn't make good phone calls, it's not gonna be a good or positive experience to you, or for you. So, I'm happy to report that my experience with Sprint service on the HTC Hero has been fantastic. I'm in Southern California and I had full EVDO Rev-A service wherever I went. Call quality was outstanding. People on the other end of the call heard no white noise. In fact, on several times, couldn't even tell I was on a cell phone. It was crystal clear and crisp and I didn't have any drop calls. So if you get Sprint service, don't worry about the call quality. I will say that the radio on here was not the strongest. Uh, when I had a, a Palm Pre and I tested it with a few other Sprint devices uh, that people bring, the reception wasn't quite as strong. It was probably one bar less. It wasn't bad, but I didn't notice the radio to be a little bit on the weaker side. So if you're in a fringe Sprint area, then you're gonna wanna try it out to make sure it works for you. But if you get plenty of Sprint coverage, you're not gonna have any problems. So let's go ahead and talk about the device. First, let's talk about the design since, like I said earlier, we talked about the Hero when it was the Jay Leno of smartphones. It is, looks completely different, but still there is the gorgeous vibrant screen highlighted by Android 1.5, but you really don't see Android 1.5. What you see is HTC's own skin on top of it called the Sense UI. HTC makes phones and they've made Windows mobile phones in the past. You may have seen TouchFlow 3D, that's an example of a skin. Essentially what it is, is it sits on top of an operating system. So there's been a lot of concern over this being an Android 1.5 device as opposed to the newer Android 2.0. And I can tell you that that is not a problem or even an issue at all. You don't really see much of Android. You're really getting the full Sense UI experience. There's improved widgets like I showed you in my video detailing the Sense UI. There's, <laughs> well, a few more home screens. You now have seven home screens as opposed to the three normal that you usually get. The calendar applications have been reworked. Everything's been reworked for an improved user experience. The one thing that 2.0 did have that 1.5 and 1.6 did not have was the Google Maps navigation beta, which was the free turn-by-turn -turn direction service. But that has now been released by Google in the Android marketplace for 1.5, 1.6 devices. So the only gripe I had with not being a 2.0 device is completely gone. That being said, Sprint and HTC have both gone on the record to say that the Hero will eventually get a 2.0 upgrade, so don't worry too much. So going back to the design of the phone, it is really thin and really sleek. It's got a five megapixel camera on the back and the soft touch rubber finish we're seeing on a lot of phones. It has a very good feel in the hand, which is really important to using a mobile device. And its size, I think, is just absolutely perfect. Guys, you're gonna be able to throw this in your pocket without creating a massive bulge in your pocket. It's not gonna look weird. Women, you can throw this in your purse or even your back pocket without you know, creating any weird sort of lines. It's extremely thin. If you compare it even to the iPhone 3GS, footprint-wise, just looks very thin, and it's a quite good-looking device. So I've been very happy with the design. I didn't like the changed GSM version. I think getting a rework for US carriers was a huge plus. So let's talk about web browsing. For those of you that follow me, you know I do a lot of my mobile work on my well, mobile phone, quite obviously. So the browser is really important to me. One of the things that the Sense UI does bring to Android and HTC Hero is multi-touch browsing. And what I mean by multi-touch browsing is pinch and zoom. And again, I gave a demonstration of that in my Sense UI overview. But if you've used an iPhone or if you've used a Pre or a Pixie, you know what I mean by the pinch and zoom. And it works really well on the Hero. I found the, the zooming on a stock Android, whatever version, 1.5, 1.6, 2.0, be a little bit cumbersome with those plus or minus magnifying glasses. So being able to pinch and zoom really makes things nice and easy and it definitely improves the web browsing experience. So if browsing is important to you, I think the Hero is a great way to look. It's got the same WebKit browser that mobile Safari used and that Android has used in the past and that uh, WebOS uses. So you know you're gonna get a very native, good-looking, rich HTML browsing experience. That's one of the things that I look for most in a device, and I was very, very, very pleased with the browser on the Hero. I would say it's a very close second for all mobile browsers, probably tied with 
Palm's web OS browser, and only second to mobile Safari. So browser-wise, like I said, fantastic. And because this is running Sense UI, I had a lot of questions about people wondering if they can use all the apps from the Android Marketplace. You can use every app from the Android Marketplace without any sort of worry, and it'll work quite well on the device. Speakerphone was very loud, and I, like I said overall, I really liked the Sense UI experience over the stock Android experience. You're just getting a better looking home screen and much more customization options, in my opinion. You know, yours may vary. I like Android's openness, the fact that I've got the ability to customize and tweak it, and certainly Sprint's Simply Everything plan makes it a fantastic value. This phone's going to run you 179 bucks after a rebate and a two year contract, so it's by no means a cheap phone. We are getting a decent amount for your money, you're also probably going to save a little bit in the long run if you're a heavy data user with the Sprint Everything plan. You get access to all their features. You get Sprint navigation and their NASCAR, if that's your thing, uh, mobile TV, and a ton of other things that uh, most carriers actually charge you for. So I've always been uh, happy with Sprint for offering sort of more value for your buck. So guys, if I have to rate the HTC Hero for Sprint on a 1 to 5 scale, I give it a very solid 4.5. Uh, the on-screen keyboard is great and easy to use. It only missed out on that little bit of an other half um, because of a little bit of sluggishness in the processor. And that's been the one thing that's been hampering the Hero. If you've got a lot of applications open and running, um, you're gonna notice a little bit of a slowdown. The processor is not the fastest one out there, but it's certainly more than capable and that shouldn't dissuade you. But that was the only thing that kept it from getting almost a perfect rating. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. I can absolutely recommend the HTC Hero for anybody out there considering a Android device for Sprint. So, hope you guys enjoyed. For exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And to learn more about Techno Buffalo and get all your tech news and create and monetize your own tech site and interact with people on our sort of brand new social network, check out, of course, technobuffalo.com. Videos and links to all that stuff will be in the sidebar. And for watching this on Techno Buffalo, you're already there. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.